Hello everyone, uh, my name is Chris Duncan and I'm part of the group Fission Chips. I'd just like to take a couple minutes to show you our SolidWorks sheet metal project. Uh, as you can see, we've made a drum kit and it's not specifically modeled after any brand, but we did make it to proper specifications, everything's sized right. Um, what we really wanted to focus on was customizability. So everything here can all be moved and adjusted, move things around, um, and everything is on this bottom plane here, so nothing, we can move things, but they won't float off into space on us. So I'd just like to go through a couple parts. We'll start with the snare here. You can see all the hardware around here. Um, if we go underneath, you can see the snare itself. It comes up, winds around here. And of course the stand. Now move on next to the bass drum. Like I said, we wanted everything to be adjustable, so these can all swivel in and out, tilt up and down, those work like that. And one of the cool features in SolidWorks when using sheet metal is we can take something and you can flatten out. So in this case, we can unroll our bass drum, roll it back up. This here is the rod for the cymbals. It works in the same way. Flatten it, roll it back up. And I'd like to just show you the ride assembly itself. Um, each of these legs pivots around their hinge here, so we move this up and down. Same with the feet, rolls around. And this bar here, if we unfix this, moves up and down. At this point here, we have three different axes, so we can, we can rotate around here. We can tilt this. We can grab the end here and slide the bar up and down. And then even if we go into here and fix this part, we can tilt our rod symbol any way we want to. And the crash assembly works similar. Now this, this turned out to be our most interesting part. This is the uh, bass drum kick pedal. It's got lots of intricacies. Uh, all this, it's kind of hard to see with this lighting, but all this is done with forming tools out of sheet metal. Underneath you can see all these uh, cutouts for weight and grip on the spring here. If we go around to the chain, each of these is done individually and then mated together. Um, wraps around this bar, these bolts here. Unfortunately, SolidWorks does not support the physics for this, which is too bad, but um, this would work quite well if we were to build it. Lastly, I'll go over here to our hi-hat. Again, just showing how everything moves around. Our pedal does indeed work. It moves the symbols up and down. Jumping back now, set of update to the kit, and there you have it. All right, on the behalf of myself and the rest of the group, thanks for watching.